This video is on data sovereignty. Data sovereignty isn't a law or a set of regulations itself. It's the idea that the data is subject to the laws and governance structures from where it is collected. The focus here is not what type of data it is, but where did the data come from or was collected. Let's say there's a business based in the United States that is collecting data from users who are living in other countries. It will still have to comply with European Union General Data Protection Regulation, GPDR, and any other local data laws where that user lives. If the company collected data from customer located in California, the same company also has to comply with California Consumer Privacy Act. Data sovereignty is just an idea that the data are subject to the laws and governance structures within the nation it is collected. Now things can definitely get complicated when you consider that over 100 countries now have laws connected to data sovereignty. In Canada, for example, data sovereignty laws state that even if the company transfers data to a third party, they are still responsible for its protection. Canadian businesses have to provide details about how they're going to handle this and their procedures and privacy policies if they transfer data to other third party companies outside of Canada. Now, as technology grows more and more and organizations become increasingly global and interconnected, issues surrounding data privacy has become more complex. And this is because companies are leveraging the tools of other companies based elsewhere. Imagine if you're a Japanese company but are using Google or Amazon to store and transmit sensitive data. Now imagine, where does that data really reside? Who owns it? What regulations should it be subject to? Many countries and regions are taking firm stance to create guidelines and questions in order to protect private data. With regulations like the European Union's General Data Protection Regulation, setting the bar for data privacy protection, it's more important than ever for companies to proactively safeguard their sensitive customer and employee data everywhere it's stored and shared.